Why do we even need pointers? Why would this be useful? Where would this be useful? So part of memory is called the heap. And what the heap is, it is memory that you can borrow during your program execution. And then when you're done, you just give it back to the heap. And so when we create variables on the heap, we can't give them a direct name. When I say int num is assigned three, that goes out into memory and it uh, gives a memory location a name, right? And that name is num. Um, but when you borrow memory off the heap, you can't give those memory locations names. So we have to um, keep track of the address in a pointer variable. So I'm going to create a pointer variable pointer. And I want this pointer variable to point to an integer location on the heap. So to do that, I'm going to use this word new and then the type of data that I want to borrow from the heap. So I want to borrow um, an integer. Okay, and then I'm going to run that program just to make sure there are no errors. And then I will print out the contents of pointer. And then I'm going to print out um, the dereferenced pointer. Okay, so you can see the look at this number. It's a lot smaller than we saw before because those addresses are going to be smaller. It's in a different part of memory. And so this is the memory address of the um, part in the heap that the program borrowed an integer from. And then the contents of that memory location is zero. So how do I put stuff into that borrowed memory location? Well, I will dereference it again, and I can assign it 10, and then I'm going to print this out again. So you can see here, this is the contents of pointer. It's a memory address on the heap. And then when I printed it out the first time, the dereferenced value, it was zero. And then I'm gonna print out the address again just to show you it hasn't changed. And then I can assign that memory address um, on the heap a value of 10 by dereferencing the pointer and assigning it a 10. So how that looks in memory, of course, is at first I created the pointer variable. And then when I said new int, it went out into the heap and it um, found space for one integer and then wherever that was it put the address in the pointer variable and that all happened in this line right here and then when I dereferenced the pointer it said go to that memory location and assign that location a 10. So I can't access that memory location directly. I have to dereference the pointer to get to it. And then when you're done with your program, it's best to give back that um, memory that you borrowed. And we'll do that by using a, the delete syntax, delete and then the pointer name. And notice that I'm not doing the star in front of it. It doesn't delete the pointer variable. It calls a deconstructor to deallocate the memory. And then we're going to just set that pointer variable to null, which is zero, just so that there is no address um, stored any longer in pointer. I'm going to print out the contents of pointer. When I run my program, you can see that when I print out the contents of pointer, it is no longer holding the address of the memory on the heap. It is con um, it's holding zero, which means it's not pointing to anything.